Hi, I'm Faye. Hello, I'm Fluffy. And today we're celebrating pride with all of our friends. We're on a mission to be fabulous. Show off our pride. And most importantly, read the house down. so excited about today, I could burst! Oh, so am I. I'm so excited too. I can hardly contain myself. You don't have to. Together on three. One, two, three. Happy Pride! Yeah! That's right, everyone. We're celebrating Pride today. Does anyone here know what Pride is all about? Love! You can date other people that are like the same gender as you. All about celebrating. Absolutely. You can be anyone you want and just have fun being who you are. I love that, yes. All about love. Love, just like that heart that you're holding. That's right. Do you have any friends that you love? Yes, yes. you have one right there. Yes. You almost got a finger right in your mouth there. <laughs> But that's right, Pride is all about different kinds of love, and it's a celebration that's special to the LGBTQ plus community. Do you know what the LGBTQ plus community is? You have two moms or two dads. Absolutely. I have four moms. I have two dads. That's right, they are a part of the community. Just like me and Faye, we're both a part of the LGBTQ plus community. That's right. High five on that. The whole thing about Pride is, is Pride is about love. And love is for everyone. Mm -hmm. Pride is my absolute favorite. You know that people celebrate the entire month of June for Pride, but you can actually celebrate and be proud every single day of the year, anytime you like. Yay! So what's your favorite part about Pride, Faye? I love rainbows. Who else loves rainbows? Yes, yes, yes. A rainbow-loving crowd. And I noticed that you have rainbows in your ears, too. Ooh, I love rainbow those earrings. earrings. How many of you have ever been to the parade before? Like a bajillion, jillion times. A bajillion, a bajillion times. times! Are we ready to kick off our official pride celebration? Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. One, two, three. Happy yeah. Free Pride! Welcome! Today I'm looking for the perfect pride outfit. I want to look just like the rainbow. Will you help me? Yes! All right, let's see what we have. Wow, it does have all the colors of the rainbow, but it's really hot out. Can I stay cool in a fuzzy sweater and boots? No! I think you're right. Let's try again. What about this one? No! Wait a second. Closet. I said rainbow, not rain clouds. Oh, I think this one is perfect. Don't you? Yes! You can never wear too many rainbows for pride. And I love how the skirt has pink and white and blue on it. It's perfect. Parade time! My favorite part about Pride is that I get to spend time with my family, and when I go to the Pride Parade, I wear rainbows on my shirt. I learned to say Happy Pride in sign language. Happy Pride! We're gonna sing our settle down song Yay, now. My favorite. Everybody settle down. How quiet can you be? Shake real fast, shake real slow, stand still as a tree. 
Now sit right down and gather round, it's story time. We've settled down, now take a look, let's open up this book. Today, we are reading this very special book called M is for Mustache, a Pride ABC book written by Catherine Hernandez and illustrated by Marissa Fireball. A is for Ally, which me and Mama try to beat every single day by speaking up for people who need someone to be on their side. B is for Bike, and on Pride Day, I get to ride all the way down the middle of the street. If you were imagining that you were actually riding a motorcycle, what sounds would you make? <laughs> Let's all do it. <laughs> That was really good. C is for colors, which make up the rainbow flags we hold. D is for doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter where we came from or what body parts we have. We are beautiful. <laughs> e is for everyone gather around, which Tita Geen tells us to do so she can tell the story of the very first Pride March. F is for the flowers that Tita Audrey puts in my hair. She tells me stories of a very important person named Marsha P. Johnson who wore them just like this. Here's a picture of Marsha P. Johnson and her and her best friend Sylvia Rivera are two of the people that started what we now know as pride. G is for glitter, so our sparkly outsides match our sparkly insides. H is for hands, which we use to sign our happiness in sign language when our deaf friends march past. Does anyone here know how to applaud using sign language? Yes. Yes! This shows that we are excited! Hey, Sebastian, do you know what's after H? What letter, buddy? I. You got it! That's right! I is for ice cream, which Tita Lisa and I have every March to stay cool. J is for joined by the arms. We link arms together with our chosen family to stay strong. K is for kissing. On Pride Day, it feels safe for us all to kiss our sweethearts. L is for lipsticks that I get to wear. Today, I get to choose any color from Tita Charms Vanity. If you were able to put lipstick on right now, what color would you want to wear? Probably um, a red. A red, okay. Yeah, what would you like to wear? What color? Blue. M is for mustache, which mama draws on my face to go with my tutu. N is for names. Some of us choose our own names to match the people we have become. O is for out on the street with our songs and our families. P is for pride. pride. Which is what we feel when we can be who we are and not be afraid. Q is for queer spawn. Queer spawn is one word for kids as lucky as me to have parents who are lesbian or gay or bi or trans or queer or two-spirit. R is for rainbow. Everywhere we see it, we know those people are celebrating with us. S is for smudging. We burn sage to remember that we are marching on indigenous land. And T is for Tita, our Filipino word for auntie, which is a kind of chosen family I am lucky to have so many of. U is for umbrella, which Tita Jazz says we should carry so the rain won't wash off her mustache. And V is for volunteers, who offer help so everyone can enjoy the events. W is for wig. Tita Faye wears a purple wig to go with her beard. That's me in the box. Yeah. X is for all the extra supplies Tita Kim gives me to keep. Extra glitter, extra whistles, extra makeup, and extra sunscreen, of course. Y is for Young Street. That's in Toronto where all the people cheer us on. Z is for Okay, wake up. Which is the sound I make after Mama and I end our long march. The and end. And let's do ASL applause. Wonderful job, everyone. And, and now let's do a really loud yeah. applause. Yeah. Well, 
Well, did you all enjoy hearing our story today? Yeah! <laughs> and did you all enjoy celebrating Pride with us today? Yeah! Well, we are so thankful that you are all here to celebrate Pride with us today. And we have one more Pride surprise for you all. We're going to have our very own Pride Parade here today! Yeah! Yeah! you all and we're so happy that we got to spend today with all of you. Remember to care. Remember to be kind and remember, remember to, to read. read. Happy Pride everyone. And we're on a mission to be fabulous. Bring joy, and most importantly, bring the house down! I am so happy to be here today. Are you all happy to be here with us today? Yeah! Look at those smiles. How about you, Faye? Are you so happy to be together with us today? Well, I am so happy to be here today, but I'm actually feeling a little bit sad. Oh, what happened? Well, I was so excited about coming today, and of course I picked my most favorite dress. And I love it. Doesn't Faye look great in this dress? Yes. yes. Oh, thank no, you, great. everybody. It's great, 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 great. Thank you so much. Do any of you have anything that you like to wear that makes you feel extra special? I like to wear my superhero shoe because I feel very good. What about you, Alicia? I like to wear my dream jacket. Well, those are all such great things. And usually when I put on my dress, I feel incredible, but someone said to me that it wasn't right that I was wearing my dress. Mm -hmm. But Faye, it's wonderful to be different. I love being different. Everybody is different. Look at the person beside you. Are they exactly the same as you? No! Not me. Well, why don't you tell us about some of the things that are different about each other? I have epilepsy and epilepsy of speech. Yeah, so that's something that's different than the way some other kids speak. But we can still hear you and understand you, and yep. we love to hear what you say. I'm wearing yellow. He's wearing green. Me and Kai have the same shirt, but we don't have the same pants. That's right. That's right. I'm wearing different socks today, and that's okay. But why does it feel so terrible? Because sometimes being different can make us sad, and that doesn't feel good on the inside. It doesn't feel good at all. How can we make Faye feel better about having her feelings hurt? Make funny faces like this. <laughs> why don't you close your eyes, put your hands over your eyes, and we're all gonna make silly, funny faces. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> it's making me feel so much better. Yay! I love being different! <laughs> no, you are. No, you. I said you. No, you are. You're doing it wrong. Because, Moogie, what's going on? Will you tell Moogie that they don't know how to tie their shoes? Will you tell Fuzz that they are the one that doesn't know how to tie their shoes? Shoes. Do you both need some help? Nope, we can both tie our shoes. Well, that's great. Then why are you arguing? I showed Moogie how I tie my shoes the way my mom taught me. Make a loop, and then swooping the other lace around, and then pulling both ends at the same time. When I tie my shoes, I make two loops, like bunny ears, then I cross them together and pull. Which is the wrong way to do it. No, actually, yours is the wrong way. Whoa, so all of this is about tying shoelaces? Of course. 
It's the most important thing happening right now. Fuzz, what is it about the way that Moogie is doing it that is so wrong? Because it's different than the way I do it. No, yours is the wrong way because it's different than my way. Just because it's different doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just the way that that one person or hamster or troll likes to do it so it makes them feel happy. Fuzz, does your way make you happy? Oh, I love tying my shoelaces that way. Does your way make you feel happy? I love bunny ears. <sighs> well, maybe we can both teach each other our special ways. Then we know two ways to tie our shoes. And then we'd both be unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> A high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fan Fluffy, how do you tie your shoes? Look, I got cool zippers. I have Velcro right in the front. Why don't we all show off our special shoes by dancing? Yay! <laughs> Hit it! Ready for our settle down song? I think that we should do it. Everybody settle down, how quiet can you be? Shake real fast, shake real slow, stand still as a tree. Now sit right down and gather round, it's story time. We've settled down, now take a look, let's open up this book. Today's book is Everybody's Different on Everybody's Street. Words by Cherie Fitch, art by Emma Fitzgerald. If ever you go traveling on everybody's street, you'll see everybody's different than everyone you meet. Did you hear how some of those words sounded similar? They rhyme. They rhyme. Some lope along giraffe-like, some shuffle hippopotami, some strut about like peacocks, others ostrich shy. Some yap like wee chihuahuas. How do chihuahuas sound? <laughs> you got a room full of chihuahuas. Some flap like cawing crows. <laughs> Some are meditating dolphins. <laughs> Others, tortoise turtle slow. Some thunder walk like elephants. Some dance about like ants. Some are wearing purple polka dotted, zebra striped pants. Yes, some are wearing purple polka dotted, zebra striped pants. If you ever go traveling on everybody's street, you'll see everybody's different than everyone you meet. Some live messy as tornadoes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some are paper clipping meat. Some grow juicy red tomatoes. Some don't have enough to eat. Some of us walk arabesque. Some of us walk jive. Some of us are waltzing weary. Some of us survive. If ever you go traveling on everybody's street, you'll see everybody's different than everyone you meet. Some of us hold bags of hope like babies in our arms. Some hop over sidewalk cracks in search of good luck charms. Some are hiding pride inside. We are human helium balloons. Some of us don't love ourselves, so migrate to the moon. Some of us wear hats of worry seven stories high. Most of us are in a hurry, and we often don't know why. And we often don't know why. If ever you go traveling on everybody's street, you'll see everybody's different than everyone you meet. Some give compliments and bear hugs. Let's all give ourselves a bear hug. <laughs> Some are aching for applause. All of us are perfect, and all of us have flaws. If ever you go traveling on everybody's street, you'll see everybody's different than everyone you meet. 
some are cuddly koalas looking for some special one. Some of us have family and some of us have none. Some are alligator angry. Some orangutans at play. Some are bored as buffaloes. Some hummingbirds that prey. Some of us have visions. Some of us have schemes. Some of us have wishes. Some of us have dreams. If ever you go traveling on everybody's street, you'll see everybody's different than everyone you meet. Some prefer the sunshine. Some live in the dark. Some of us have shelter. And some of us sleep in the park. Some are mad as thunder. Some as sad as rain. Most of us are glad at times. And all of us, no pain. So, if ever you go traveling to everybody's street, this is what you come to understand. You are everybody and everyone you meet. That's what everybody knows down on everybody's street. Yes, everyone is traveling on everybody's street, and everyone is everyone and anyone you meet. The end! end. Oh, we love you all so much, and we're so happy that you were here with us today. Remember to care. Remember to be kind. And, and remember, remember to read. I love being different. See you next time, everyone. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Faye. Hello. And today we're having a super fun slumber party with all of our friends. We're on a mission to be fabulous. Bring joy, and most importantly, read the house down. to be here with you all today. Are you all happy to be here too? Yeah! What about you, Faye? Are you happy to be together again today? I am always happy when we are all together. It's my favorite thing. It's just that I have something that I'd like to talk about. Well, this is a safe space where you can always share your feelings. Well, I am feeling a little bit scared. Oh no, Faye, what happened to make you feel scared? So I was so excited to come, obviously, especially at the fact that we're having a slumber yeah! party. And so I picked out my most favorite nightgown. I love, love, love this nightgown. <laughs> I'm so glad you chose that one. I love that we're matching. I know, look at us. Do any of you have something really cozy or comfortable that you like to wear? Yeah. I love a cozy onesie. Mm -hmm. Georgia, what do you wear at nighttime? I wear a pajama. What does your favorite pajamas have on them? A unicorn. <gasps> Unicorns too? Wow, just like us. Does anyone else do anything at nighttime that makes them feel cozy? I do. I have yeah. two stuffed animals and I snuggle with them. Aww. How about you, Liam? I sleep with a small dog and a humongous bear literally taller than I am. Wow. A real dog or a stuffed dog? Stuffed. A real bear or a stuffed bear? <laughs> stuffed. Okay, good. Thanks, everyone. That makes me feel so great. But you know what? I forgot to bring my sweet pink teddy bear from home, Grumpelina. And I'm just worried I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight without her. You know, Faye, it's totally normal to be scared at night. I mean, you can't really see, and it's so quiet, and you're usually left alone, except for Grumbelina, of course. Would you like to see her? Yes, please. Well, I always carry a framed portrait of her with me wherever I go. <gasps> oh, she's precious. 
I love her sparkly eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, see, all of us have stuff that we cuddle with, and most of us forget it. But that's okay. You can always feel that she's in your heart, and she's always with you if you ever need her. That advice makes me feel so much better. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah! <laughs> All fuzzy and, and fluffy! <laughs> Hi, Moogie! Hi, Fuzz! Where have you two been? When we heard there was a slumber party, I got really excited, ran to my closet, and started counting my PJs. The purple one, the striped one, the neon one, the tie-dyed one. One, two, three, four. The county made me sleepy, and I took a ah, nap. Oh, so I guess when you count, it actually helps you fall asleep. Well, what about me? I don't really like the nighttime because I think the dark is scary. I usually snuggle up to my stuffed rabbit, Ernesto, but it takes me so long to fall asleep because Moogie snores so loud. Huh? I snore? Funny. I never hear it. Because you're asleep, Moogie. <laughs> but we all hear it. It sounds like a big choo-choo train. But only when you're very tired. And then between your choo-choos and the dark, I just really can't sleep. Well, everyone reacts to the dark differently, and that's totally fine. It is? Of course! If you think about it this way, when the shadows are with us, it means that the sun is somewhere else in the world, and it's allowing the puppets and the kids to play in the sunshine. And what the moon does is it helps everything go dark, so it helps us to relax and calm our brain and our bodies so that we can recharge during our rest so that we're ready to play in the sunshine when tomorrow comes. Fuzz, I'm sorry my snoring is so loud you can't sleep. Oh, that's okay, Moogie. I'll try your counting trick. Ernesto and I can count all our PJs. That way I can fall asleep before or you start snoring. Mm. Yeah, come here, you. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful, you two. You look so cuddly and snuggly. Fuzz, you're even softer than Grumbelina. You're gonna have to tell me all your secrets. Oh, well, it's a simple 22-step hair care routine. I can write it down. Okay. Hi, I'm James. Hi, I'm Ryan. We're six years old. And this is our bedtime routine. First we brush our teeth, then we take a washroom break, then we get our PJs on. The three pigs ran and fetched a pot. Quick said, then we read a story. Then our mom rubs our back until we fell asleep. Good night, sleep Good night. night. Bye. Bye. Are you ready to do the settle down song? Everybody settle down, how quiet can you be? Shake real fast, shake real slow, stand still as a tree. Now sit right down and gather round, it's story time. We've settled down, now take a look, let's open up this book. Today's book is The Moon Inside by Sandra V. Feeder, every night, when the dark entered the house, traveling slowly down the walls and over the floors, Ella grew afraid. She would take her mother's hand and lead her from room to room. In each room, Ella turned on lights to make the dark go away. One evening when dusk was just beginning to settle over the house, Ella reached again for her mother's hand. The sun is leaving now, Ella said, looking out the window. Yes, said mother, the sun belongs to the daytime. The sun makes me happy. Yellow is my favorite color, Ella said. But now, it's almost nighttime again. Mother opened the door and stepped outside. Do you see anything in the night sky, she asked. The moon, Ella said, 
spotting it low on the horizon. She watched. Fireflies danced over the lawn. They're glowing, she said, pointing, like the moon. She listened. It's quiet, she said. She heard the crickets chirp and the wind in the trees. Ella and her mother sat on the porch. They listened some more to the sounds of the night. I like it here, Ella said. Me too, said mother. Now on this page, we don't have any words. But what do we notice here? Owl. An owl? What is the sound the owl makes? <coughs> it sounds like we have lots of owls in the building now. Oh. Before they went back into the house, Ella looked up at the golden moon. Oh, it's my favorite color. Only quieter, she said. That night, she turned on fewer lights in the house. She wanted to make sure she could see the moon in the night sky. Ah. So what happened? Is she feeling a little less afraid now? I'm pretty sure that she was scared at the beginning, yeah. and then once she realized that nighttime wasn't that bad, she started to enjoy it. Yeah. As Ella lay in bed, she knew that she would awake to the bright sun and a brand new day. But right now, she was happy that the night belonged to the moon, quietly glowing through her bedroom window. The end. And that was the moon inside. Are you all feeling braver now? Yeah! Did everyone enjoy the story we read today? Yeah! Me too. Fantastic. And Faye, how are you feeling now? You know, I'm feeling a lot better now, Fluffy. That's the spirit, Faye. I think it's time for us to kick off our slumber party. Is everyone ready? Yeah! But first, remember to care. Remember to be kind. And remember to read. See you next time. All right, lights out.